morning, my friend. Welcome to today's episode of The Drive. <laughs> Happening. Welcome to actually the first ever drive here in my new car. Got the Range Rover Sport uh, all in black. Um, I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to get you a video. We'll have to put together a video of this thing. It is absolutely beautiful. And you know, it's uh, it's uh, wild. This this car was actually on um, my vision board that I had in my old office. Uh, when we had our offices in Nottingham uh, in a place called West Bridgeford <clears throat> and I had this on my vision board and the last few days I got it which is uh, pretty pretty awesome <clears throat> and uh, I want to talk about something to do with this not to do with the car <clears throat> not to do with attaining things although I suppose it is in a way you see I'm constantly analyzing and monitoring what's going on in the marketplace what's happening with the industry as a whole, what's happening with the future of the industry, where do I see it going, what's happening right now with people in this industry, with our customers, with other people's customers, with the industry as a whole, and you know what I, you know what I see an overwhelming, alarming issue with is people's confidence and belief in themselves and their ability to accomplish what they truly want to accomplish. You see, there is, you know, I, I can say it categorically, I know this might sound weird for somebody that actually sells information, but there really is no shortage of information. I mean, the internet is a platform of information. I mean, think about it. You go to Google, what are you searching for? Information. You go on YouTube, what are you watching or looking for? Information of some kind. Um, you go on social media, what are you consuming? Information. You know. The internet is information, so there isn't actually a shortage of information. One thing I can say is there is too much misinformation, too much of the wrong information, but hopefully you get my point. There is no shortage of information. And so when you think about things like that and you think, well, all the information I could ever need is available to me, whether you have to pay for it or it's freely available is, is immaterial really. All the information you need to accomplish your goals in life, whatever they may be, are available to you. Whether you can access them freely or pay your way to access them, it is there and readily available. And so why is there an overwhelming, alarming number of people that are stuck and struggling? And if we, if we ignore the fact there's a lot of misinformation, I want to focus on the fact that most people do not believe in themselves enough. And I used to be the same, in fact, for a long time, because of failure and struggling, because of lack of results, the belief in myself faltered. The belief in myself disappeared. I started to think things like, well, maybe this is me. Maybe I'm not capable of doing this. Maybe this is the sort of stuff that only a few really clever people can do. Maybe I'm not qualified. Maybe I just don't have that ability. Maybe, 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 maybe. And that doubt crept in over and over and it became overwhelming and I started to really think well maybe I shouldn't do this maybe I should focus on my job maybe maybe I should just accept that even though the construction company wasn't my passion or what I really wanted to do maybe I should just focus for life and build up a career in there and aim to become my boss and his boss's boss over the next 10 20 30 years and I started to accept the possibility of that being a viable option and that's a scary thing when you think about it, right? If you're not enjoying what you do and you're not passionate about what you do and it's not fulfilling you and delivering to you, but you're accepting that as the, the it's becoming acceptance of your future being just that, then that's, that's kind of a scary place to be, isn't it? If you're accepting that I'm not happy with where I'm at, but I'm accepting of this being my, my future for life until I die, and that's that's not a nice place to be and so I want to just kind of share some of the things that I've done 
and I did do to build that belief. You see, I don't know if you know this, but here on my arm, I don't know if this is even showing up on the camera, but when I decided I was gonna really do this and I built that belief and I, I was gonna quit my job and go full time into this, I had believe and achieve inked, tattooed onto my body. And I know not everybody likes tattoos and that's the only tattoo I've ever had and I've never even considered it before, but this meant so much to me that I wanted to permanently place it on my body that I'm going to believe in myself and achieve what I set out to achieve. And I wanna share just a few things, just a few simple shifts that you can make to build that confidence and belief. In fact, I'm not gonna give you any more than one because if I give you lots of things, chances are they will reduce the possibility of you actually doing it. So I'm gonna give you the one biggest thing that shifts my mindset, and I do this every day to this day right now, is I begin my day in a way that most people do not. You see, I've spoke about this in the past, so I'm not gonna go into it too much, but you may or may not be aware that there is scientific research, there is facts, scientifically backed facts, that have found that in the first 10 to 20 minutes of you waking up in a morning when you have been asleep all night and you wake up your brain is the most receptive of the entire day that you're gonna be awake at that point. So what you choose to put into your brain at that stage can actually impact how your day goes, okay? So here's one of the biggest things that I can say to you to do. And some of you will say this is woo woo and nonsense and all that, fine. If you're not open to possibilities, you'll be closed off to them and that will be that. So you want to start your day as quickly as possible from the moment you wake by listening to something that is going to build your confidence and belief and feed your mind with positivity. So one of the easiest and freely available things that you can do, that I do to this day, every single day right now, is the moment I wake up, instead of going on Facebook, instead of reading a newspaper, instead of consuming news or media, I go straight onto YouTube, I search for motivational video or um, confidence building video or positivity video, morning motivation video, something like that. And generally I will listen to something by people like Les Brown or Tony Robbins or um, Eric, uh, Eric T. Oh, I can't think of the names. But essentially you're going to find the same people, these motivational speakers, these positivity, these motivational presenters that have dedicated their lives to motivating, inspiring, building and creating confidence and ability building perceptions in people like you and I, and you listen to at least 10 minutes of that in the morning every single day, every day, first thing in the morning, you are going to find shifts occurring in your belief, in your mindset, in your approach. It won't happen straight away, but the more you feed it, the bigger that belief comes because the only thing that can change, or one of the main things, should I say, that can change beliefs is time and repetition. So if you feed positivity, motivational, confidence building, information into your brain through audio like that, every single day, every single morning, for 10 to 20 minutes, every single day, and you repeat that daily, you will see a shift over a period of days, weeks, and months as time goes on. You will have belief in yourself. You will not let things stop you. You will not hit barriers and freeze and pause. You will keep going because these people, their information, their words, can infect your mind in such a positive way. In the same way, think about this. If you were to listen to someone moaning, complaining every day, what would happen to you? You would feel negative, you would begin to moan, you would begin to complain, you would look for the bad in everything because that's what you've in incepted, that's what you've fed into yourself. But if you listen to the complete opposite, what do you think might happen? The complete opposite. So that's my big tip for you. One big thing. You do that one thing and test me. Put me to the test. Start doing it. Even if you don't believe in what I'm saying, 
which would be crazy, but if you don't, test me, okay? Do it for the next 10 days, every morning, at least 10 minutes, listen to some Les Brown, some Tony Robbins, whoever it might be, on YouTube, every morning, 10 minutes, first thing you do, as soon as your eyes awake, grab that phone, put the headphones in if you want, so you really tune into it and listen, 10 to 20 minutes, listen. Do it for 10 days, test me, and see if you don't approach your days differently by the end of that. See if your belief isn't started to change, your, your approach doesn't start to shift, and then if you do find that, keep it going. I guarantee you will. And with that said, I'm here at Internet Profits HQ. As I say, you're in the new car, I will get you a video together to show you this thing, because it's beautiful, it is amazing, and it's the, it's the product of, of hard work and believing and achieving as it says here on my arm. So with that said, thank you for watching. If you're with us here on YouTube, of course, hit that subscribe button, join the family, and I will, of course, speak to you tomorrow in another episode of The Drive. Take care, have a great day.